How are you? It's Ching. I'm recording Qigong. Last week, we, I introduced you the first set of the contemporary Qigong developed by me. The first set is called a spiral breathing. So remember we said this week, we're going to learn what's involved, the internal work. And so the Chinese internal medicine and for a thousand years ago, they start understanding a lot of sickness arise from emotion. Through the China era and observation, they can start understand and um, how that work. So they're pairing up since the yin yang philosophy is already there. So there's a right, there's a daytime, nighttime, women and men and different area have the different so things does change a little bit like I was growing up in Taiwan so it's more hotter right I we don't have snow and nights we go way up in the mountain so in yang change a little bit but there is a nice balance harmonizing together so organ also too there's a yin organ and yang organ complement to each other so What's relating to the very first spiral breathing? I chose, right? I chose to do that first because the most important thing for our body to stay alive is oxygen, right? You already, every single cell you, needs oxygen. So we start with the breathing first, so that's your lung. And what really help breathing is this unsung hero is the dive and constant moving right up and down, which you learned last last week. So the organ we're going to talk about is lung and the large intestine. So of course, I think your question will be, which one is yin and which one is yang? Even the in uh, the internal organ. There are two types of structure, okay? So like liver, spleen, kidney, they're kind of solid, okay? So they, we, we call it in organ, they're kind of absorbing things and filtering, right? And they will get rid of the waste and they keep the good, right? So it, it's like converting. So there's another type of internal organ, it's like a pouch or a tube. So they have some movement to digest, right? So simply we eat food and it goes into your stomach. Stomach has a stomach juice, right? And start right digesting the food from the solid, even we chew, right? Into a kind of liquid. So through the small intestine, large intestine, also like a tube kind of pouch. So there's so many, so much going on. Your bladder too, right? And they can store <laughs> as a pouch and then they can also hold it for us and then we're eliminating. So, so the lung is the in organ, the large intestine, right? Eliminating, so that's the yang organ. So there's a movement, right? Stressing out. So the important part with the lung, you already know too, oxygen. We are going to bring the oxygen through the two arteries, especially to your brain cell. Well, I hear, um, I have said this many times, um, according to other scientists too, and your brain cell takes 20% of the oxygen of the rest body, but it's very small. So what happens is, is try to cognitive, right? Try to keep us young and right, thinking and resolve problem, figure out problem. So we had to work so hard and also constant learning something new. So what, so the synopsis, you constantly creating new brain cell, right? To help you preventing growing old, old, old. So older and wiser, not easy. That's mean what? You have to stay open and continue learning something new. So, Having understand breathing relates so many things, right? So the emotion, right? Traditional Chinese medicine, remember I just talked about that emotion reside those organs. So what is the emotion for the lung and large and so that's yin and yang again. So emotion also what we what we feel, 
right? Right? I can feel anger. I can feel sadness. You know, I this is the second time, third time actually. I always re rehearse first, then record. I record it. Somehow it went to slow motion. I have no idea what happened. I hope it doesn't do that this time. And so this second time, the third time we're recording practice, and <laughs> practice my theory too, and don't get upset, right? So the emotion for the lungs and large intact is grief. The opposite of grief is transformation. There's all kinds of, not all kinds of, several types of sadness and stress, not so happy, melancholy. The hardest one is grief. Grief usually means you lost someone very dear to you, right? It's going to take a while before you feel life is worth living again. It's really sad. So, but then again, life, it is worth living because you have to transfer all that transformation, change all that grief into start what? Helping others and giving other people your love. So I'm, I'm telling my kids too, I say, if ever I left this world, I want to see you from up there <laughs> and I want to see you live productively, right? Because life is worth living. And uh, always remember the good time. So transformation is not easy. And it's, it's a um, sadness really not, it kind of robs your life away. So if I still have life, I'm going to figure out not easy, I say, figure out how to still sharing my passion and loving other people and, right, still creating a very productive and positive life. So, grief, not easy. Sad, we're always going to feel. It's not a bad emotion. It's just part of emotion compared to like jealousy, love, anger, all these other ones, right? Bitter. And so we feel it. But don't stay there, right? You, you can't be happy all the time. The happiness is a positive attitude. If you're positive and you feel life a little happier, but it's, it's constant working, you already know. And uh, I already know. That's why I love Qigong because it's not just exercise. It's a philosophy. So I'm saying... I'm trying to use exercise to build our what positive mind and a better outlook for your life. And if you have better outlook for your life, you will take care of this life, which is this body. It's a beautiful gadget, right? I said that like the instrument to fly in that stealth airplane, right? If you don't know how, you're not gonna fly. You are going to fly. It's all up to you. Medication sometimes important, most of the time are not because a lot of time make you more sad, make you more depressed. So we have to figure out how to use getting the chemistry in your own body working well. Okay, so now you already practice the movement, okay, spiral breath. So there's another image for you, right? I love my hand towel because I, I wash my face every morning and and now when you take a bath shower, you use it to you know scrub things. And kitchen has towel too. So towel, right? So beautiful, beautifully made, cotton, whatever. And life is that water. So you have to put this beautiful dry towel in that water so you can use it to clean things up, clean yourself. But then when you finish, you have to squeeze out, you have to rinse it. Sometimes you put a little bit of soap detergent, clean up the dirt and you squeeze all that dirt out with the water. So what is a spiral? You squeeze and twist a little bit, get it out. And then you can put that towel hanging on the side. Tomorrow you can use again because it dry up. If you don't squeeze that my impurity out, what happened? It's like petri dish, right? So you have mildew and slime start growing. And in a week you have to buy a new towel again. Okay. So the same thing. That's why I love the spiral movement too. We kind of squeeze the impurity out of us. <laughs> so we keep the good, eliminate the bad, right? So it's constant happen, yin yang constant happen. So now when you practice, when you breathe, 
you're gonna bring the beautiful oxygen into the lungs, right? So into the lung, you think about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna purify and let go the sadness, right? And uh, little by little, the grief is gonna go. I'm gonna relook at life in a different eye to rebuild my life so what? I can keep the wonderful memory and you can what? Dedicate your life to whoever's loss. We do that a lot, right? You go to the park, you can see that bench is dedicated to something, you see the monument. Um, after my mother passed away, I created a, a tree peony garden and uh, to dedicate, say, mom, this is your beautiful area of the flower, probably my whole garden too. So it's just like that feeling of not letting someone sweet in your life go but you can't stay there crying all the time because I don't think my mother want to see me to do that, right? So I don't think your friend want to see you do that. They want you, like, in a way says, it's the only time you can say this, okay? I live for my friends. I'm going to show them, right? You really live for yourself. So what? You're sharing your love. You share the appreciation, gratitude. Okay, so now you're breathing in the oxygen to purify. <clears throat> Help yourself have a different outlook, eliminate, right, the impurity. So are you ready? We're going to move and think and mind, body, breath will come together. Beautiful lungs, right? The lung has the best partner, right? It's actually activated by the piston, one of the piston, your diaphragm. The other one should probably floor. All this moving the whole internal organ already, but right now, we focus the lung and large intestine. And next one, when you learn, we're gonna kind of, uh, I will kind of, uh, I will explain it to you and introduce to you actually what other organs function and emotion involve. Gradually, when you do the whole five sets, right? That become what is the whole body. It's really for the whole body. Now we individualize a little bit so we can, it can really, understand the purpose behind the Qigong energy, good energy. Okay, here we go. I'm turning a little bit. So I'm going to review all five movements, right? The five movements for the, um, sorry, the little ticklish. Um, the five movements of the spiral breathing. Okay, here we go. This is my, remember, diaphragm, pelvic floor. I'm gonna suspend my head suspend from above and I got my nice horse stance, which is spiritual triangle. All prepare, quiet your mind. Inhale, dive is going down naturally, pelvic floor up. What, what this breathing, reverse down the breathing, exhale. Release, letting go the impurity. Inhale, bring the oxygen, moving the spine, fill the lungs. Exhale, let it go. So the large intestines drop is letting go. Inhale. You're breathing the beautiful oxygen into the lungs. And last one, inhale. Into the lower dantian, exhale. We switch side. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale through the lungs and letting go the sorrow, sadness. Remember the good part, inhale. Remember the wonderful memory, memory with your family or your friend, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, second part. So your little spiral comes in, you know, rotate and release. So alternating, inhale, right arms down, left arm comes up. Inhale, left, so things are start moving, right? So life start moving little by little to do the transformation, inhale, Exhale. 
inhale and exhale right if you see someone very sad melancholy you always would like to what pick them up right helping them out exhale and help yourself first before you're helping others sometimes your friend needs more right so now really spiral now inhale exhale so that spiral right squeeze out impurity and release so okay i'm not going to be shut down anymore i'm going to appreciate life again inhale look around see if i can give love and my right, sharing service by right? serving other people and if you're serving other people that's the expression of love inhale and exhale recreate a life and exhale inhale and exhale same thing right you come through cancer right that was pretty scary you went through all the treatment and you went through changing your lifestyle for the better and exhale now you feel empowered right you can really bring your life back into your own hand okay ready that's the next steps right oh i'm expanding my life i'm opening my world bigger and bigger and inhale and exhale start seeing other people that you can share and help exhale inhale your world is bigger and the inhale life is worth living inhale exhale inhale and exhale here we go even more you see the world you're going all the way around inhale world open more bigger inhale exhale inhale transformation inhale exhale inhale exhale there's so many amazing story out there right you can see people from the jail coming out recreate their life you know plenty of stories and inhale they are our inspiration inhale exhale see the world around you last one inhale Exhale, there's so much you can do to be part of it. And your gratitude comes back. Enjoy your life. Deep breathing, you may close your eyes. Couple more deep breathing. Bend your knee, comes in. Okay. So you know sadness, not so happy, life is difficult. Those are things you hear all the time from your friends, yourself, okay, your kids not happy. And uh, so when that happens, we close in, right? We also want to close the door. We want to see anybody. It's okay. Do that for a little bit. You're going to start. You're the only one can open your world. You're the only one has so much love to give so much strength for other people so keep working on that okay qigong is fabulous there's so much you can share it's actually practice qigong breathing nutrition and movement it's a wellness lifestyle of living keep practicing i will const i will keep sharing sharing with you make me learn more okay so I have to stay open constantly and that's why I chose to teach him. I, I didn't want to teach my father's professor. I'm looking how much work he had done. I said, no, 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 I don't want to be one. Too much responsibility. 
And then all of a sudden falls on my lap. And you have to step up to it and try to get better and better. Okay, we together. And thank you so much. Take care and understand Qigong. Inhale, exhale, breath. Thank you so much. Take care.